Today, we'll be taking a look at the motor assembly on this LG electric dryer. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. The main reason why you'd be replacing your motor assembly is if the unit will not start. To begin your repair, we must first access the back of the unit. Stop. Always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. Now that we're at the back of the unit, in order to lift the top, we must first remove our safety cover here. It is held on with one Phillips screw in the middle. Take this off. Now it does have a couple of tabs that are holding it on. You'll have to kind of press in, then lift up and set it to the side. Next, to lift the top, there are two kind of spring clips under each side. You'll have to use a putty knife. Go in here, start to press on it, and lift at the same time. When you feel it lift up, you can go over to the other side. Now we'll go to the other side. I felt it lift up. Next, we will be leaning it against the wall. If you have to pull it out a little bit, you can do so. So we'll put a blanket on the top so it can't get damaged. And lean it up here so we can take off the front. When removing the front of the unit, first disconnect your Molexes from the light as well as the door switch. Next, you'll have multiple Phillips screws around that will have to be removed. We'll take the two off the top first. Next, we'll open it up. There are a couple of Phillips screws inside here, here. This one, this one, as well as these two on the bottom that will have to be taken out. Now carefully, these two here will have to be removed, but this one, you have to be careful as you can scratch the door since it's so close. We'll just keep pressure on the top of the door. Go ahead and close it. Pull down on the frame portion. Lift up and set it to the side. Now that we have the front panel removed, we can start to remove the bulkhead. In order to remove the bulkhead, there are a couple of Phillips screws that have to be taken out. Next, on the bottom here, we have one wiring harness. You will pinch, separate it, lift up on the bulkhead. We're just trying to pull kind of the arms out of the slotted area. So you'll lift up and pull out, grab the bulkhead and set it to the side. Now that we have the bulkhead removed, we can now remove the drum. In order to do so, first, we will have to take the belt off of the motor. You will reach under, grab the idler pulley, pull it back, remove the belt from the actual motor pulley, gently let it down, and we will use this to pull up on the drum and to kind of carry it out. Pull the drum out and set it to the side. Now that we have the drum removed, we have clear access to our motor. In order to remove the motor, we must first remove the blower wheel. In order to remove the blower wheel, we have a kind of protected piece of metal over the front of it. it is held on by two Phillips screws. Go ahead and take this off. 
take off that piece of metal here. Next, the blower wheel is held on by one 12 millimeter nut on here. When you are removing this nut, one thing to keep in mind is that the nut is actually reverse thread. So in order to remove it, we will have to go the opposite direction. Take this off. Next, start to pull off on the blower wheel. Be careful so that you do not damage your hands. Set the nut and the blower wheel to the side. Next, to remove the actual motor, first we will remove the wiring harness here. Next, we have two clips on it that will have to be removed. When you do this, use either a flat blade screwdriver or a tack puller. We'll go into the lipped side, press down and pry off, and then just start to pry it off of the hook on the other side. Same on the opposite one. We will pull our locking tab out. And then to remove the motor, lift up, start to pull it out, and set the motor to the side. When installing your new motor, we will have to put it in the direction where the actual motor harness is on the right hand side. We will guide in the motor, and then your colored kind of circles where the clips went, they go on the motor brackets. Once you get it sat on there, it will kind of drop down in place where it can't wiggle. And we will put in the first holding clip on the back side, put it in, you get it into place, push down on the other side until it clips in. I do highly recommend using gloves while doing this as that metal can damage your hands. Now on the other side, we'll do the same thing. Push in on the top. Missed on that one. Get it there, push it in. We're locked in place. Reinstall your Molex for the motor. Now we can reinstall the blower wheel. When reinstalling your blower wheel, first we will slide the blower wheel in and put it on the shaft. Now, on the actual shaft, there is a flat spot, okay? What you'll want to do is you'll want to line it up because the nut that goes on here, almost like this flat piece here, it has a flat spot on here. So you will have to match it up with the flat spot on the actual motor shaft and then turn the blower wheel until it can slide into the hole here. Once you get this on, we will start to put the nut back on. Remember, this is reverse thread. Hold on to the blower wheel and tighten. Now we can reinstall the cover. And when putting the cover on, there is a flat spot on the bottom that will correspond with the flat spot on the actual housing, almost like it slips behind it. We'll get it into place. Reinstall our two Phillips screws. Now we can reinstall the drum. When reinstalling your drum, we will have the belt on it to guide it in. Bring it in and give it a turn so that it goes on the very back wheels of the unit. You can let it drop down. We will put our arms inside in order to reattach the belt to the idler. Lift up on the idler, wrap it around the wheel, You'll see there is a ribbed portion on the belt. That side is gonna go down on the motor pulley. Let go of the idler. Now we can reinstall the bulkhead. When reinstalling your bulkhead, first we'll get it into position where the blower goes on the bottom. Start to get the wheels underneath the front and lift up to put the top arms into the slotted area. At this point, give it a turn. This will draw it in and get it on top of the wheels. And then you can lift up on each side and drop it back into the slotted area. Give it another turn. 
We'll go around and reinstall our screws. Next, reinstall the Molex on the bottom. Now we can reinstall the front panel. When reinstalling your front panel, first we'll bring the bottom in here and it will go into small notches on the bottom. You'll see when you're pushing it in and then slide it in on the top just to kind of lock it in place. Next, we'll screw it in on the top. This will help hold it in place. Open up a door here. Reinstall the screws that we took out previously. Close the door. Reinstall your Molexes. Now we can reinstall the top. When installing the top, first we'll take off our blanket here, bring it down, just kind of get it into place, push down on both sides at the same time. Now we can finish up at the back. And finally, when we are installing the safety cover, we will slide in the tabs on the bottom, bring it in. Look inside of the slotted areas as sometimes you may have to press it down or you may have to wiggle the top in order for it to go in and it actually presses down. Once you have it into place, we will reinstall the screw And this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.